we try to understand many other people. You try to understand your boss, you try to understand your wife, you try to understand your ch child, you try to understand your pastor, you try to understand a film star, you try to understand a singer, but we never try to understand the Holy Spirit of God. But he says, I have come, but who is trying to understand me, son? Tonight, people of God, this word comes from the Holy Spirit of God for this particular group that you will not walk into 2018 with ignorance and negligence. But you will walk with the Holy Spirit of God, knowing your blueprint in your spirit. And you are more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. Father, I thank you for this evening. I have spoken, I have said, Father, whatever you told me through the Holy Spirit of God. I have done what I have to do, Holy Spirit of God. And it is up to your people to receive it. I have released what you deposited in my spirit. And I pray that there will be good ground to receive these words. And I pray, Father, that in these words will bring forth harvest, Lord. It's 30, 60, and 100. Thank you, Father. Thank you. This day, this night, I use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of myself, my boss, my Lord, my King. I use his name to rebuke any sickness in your body. I rebuke any affliction in your body using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke it. I rebuke every pain in your body. I rebuke every affliction in your body. I rebuke every torment of thoughts in your mind to leave you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke every oppression in your home. I rebuke every spirit of disturbance in your home. Now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. I use the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I use the mighty name to set you free this evening. I separate your sickness and your body. I cut the sickness with the word of God. I cut it from your body now. Every pain, I cut it with the word of God. Every suffering in your body, I cut it with the word of God. By his stripes, you are healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Every failure, every repetition of failure in your life, I put a full stop this evening using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If there has been a strings of failure in whatever you try to do, I put a full stop using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight I put that full stop. And may you start to succeed in what you do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <coughs> Thank you. I call forth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, an awakening in your spirit to be led to the Holy Spirit of God, to be drawn to the Holy Spirit of God, that all of you will walk into your blueprint what heaven has written for you. The Spirit of the Lord is reminding me about Cornelius in the Bible. Cornelius was a man who continuously prayed and who gave arms, who helped people. And one day when he was in his prayer room, he, he didn't know the Lord. He was a non-Jew. When he was praying, an angel appeared in his room and said, Cornelius, your arms and your prayers have come before God Almighty as a remembrance. And because your you have your, your, your arms and your prayers have become a remembrance before God. I have come. And the, the angel gave instruction 
to, the, to Cornelius to send men to bring Peter. And Peter came and his entire family had the salvation. And they were baptized with the Holy Spirit of God. And I believe even as you in the coming days pray and keep doing what you're doing, there shall be angelic visitations. Angelic visitations. Whoever believes, receive this. Angelic visitation. Angels can come even in the form of a man or a woman. They can take the form of a man or a woman and walk into your life and will help you bring help. And may you discern that Garo's moment and may you not reject the angel, but may you receive the angel. For that you have to be sensitive in the spirit realm. Angelic visitations. I pray over you in Jesus' mighty name. There is something called the ministry of the angels. There is a ministry called the ministry of the Holy Spirit of God. And there is a ministry called the ministry of the angels. May you encounter the ministry of the angels. For the, for the angels are ministering spirits for those who have inherited salvation. May angelic ministration come to you in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. Keep praying. Keep doing the good things. Your day of remembrance is coming before God. When heaven will move. Heaven will start to act up on, on behalf of you. And angels will start coming to you. God will remember. The book of remembrance will come before him. Your day of breakthrough is coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Father, tonight I thank you for what you have done in this room. For the volumes of wisdom that you have spoken into the life of the people. Thank you, Lord, for the words what you have spoken. Thank you, Lord, for the, the prophecy that you've released over the people. Thank you, Lord, for the Lord, the words of life and spirit that you have spoken over your people. And I pray, Father, that every seed had fallen on good ground. Thank you, Father, that the spirit of negligence and ignorance, I rebuke it to leave you. Spirit of lethargy to leave you, I rebuke spirit of lethargy to leave you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke the spirit of slumber to leave you, that you will be up and praying. Some of you here, when you start to pray, you fall asleep. When you start to read the word, you fall asleep. I rebuke that spirit of slumber to get out of you now in the name of Jesus. That you will be ours in the presence of God. Seeking his face, not his hand. Seeking his face, not his hand. Seeking his face, not his hand. So that he will reveal his blueprint to you. I rebuke that spirit of slumber. I rebuke that spirit of laziness to get out of you. Now, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, you spirit of slumber. Come out, you spirit of laziness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Some of you have received blueprint which are from the devil. Oh yes, the devil has lied through men and women a different blueprint into your ears that needs to be aborted tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And it has to be replaced by the blueprint of heaven through the Holy Spirit of God. Lying spirits have spoken through men and women and have revealed a different blueprint that is not from heaven into many of your life. That I break it tonight in the name of Jesus. And may the true blueprint of heaven be revealed to you through the Holy Spirit of God, even as you stay in His presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let the lie of the devil be exposed, God, through the revelation of the Holy Spirit of God in the life and spirit of your children. Yes, Father. 
Expose it, my Father. Expose it. Expose it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever you have heard that is not of the Word of God is a lie and a blueprint from hell. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you glory tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. The sickness I arrest in your body. If you have any pain, lay your hands wherever you the pain is. It must leave now. If you have any swelling in your body, lay your hands. It must leave now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If there is any defect in your body, lay your hands. It must be made right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If there is a deterioration in your body, as you lay hands in that very place, it will stop. The deterioration will cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor to you. Tonight, God, be glorified through the life of every son and daughter in this room. Be glorified through the life of every son and daughter in this room. As knowledge has been given to them. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to close this meeting. Just a reminder to pray for the coming Monday's meeting. Bring people who have a need, who are sick in body. It's not us, but it's the Holy Spirit will do the work. But as you exercise your faith, and you put your be a witness to the Lord and you bring people that don't know Jesus have never heard the gospel God will enhance your life in a way that is beyond measure let's close this meeting we want to thank the Lord for Pastor Raja for the word that he brought very specifically the last few lines what he said Sometimes when God wants to bless us and give us good things, yet the devil comes with counterfeit. And he said he warned us to be careful, to be pray and fast and prepare so that when we enter in the year 2018, we will have the blueprint. We will know God's purpose and plan for our life. Father, we thank you this evening. We are careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the worship all things are in you and through you lord father we thank you for the way you ministered the word you are teaching us through this man of god and lord everyone that heard your word that they will put it into practice they will pray they will live in the word and they will be delivered because god is not a liar god is a God who keeps every covenant. If we will seek Him with our heart, soul, and mind, we will see mighty things. Father, bless these people as they go. Lord, they, let the protection of the Lord be upon them. Take them safely. And Lord, help them to be a witness each day for you, O God. We thank you once again in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Be blessed as you go. God bless you.